This morning's reading is from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, starting at verse 9. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to the Father who's qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the continued encouragement that Paul and his fellow prisoners give to this church in Colossae through their prayers. And we thank you, Lord, that although we do not necessarily know it, there are those praying for us in this congregation that we too may have endurance and patience and joy and hope. For as Paul says, he's rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Amen. <laughs>